Last year, a statement was released announcing the retirement from touring of legendary Motley Crue guitarist Mick Mars, while also noting he would remain an official member of the band. The group ended up enlisting guitar virtuoso John Five, who certainly is qualified to perform with the band and also is a lifelong Crue fan. But for former Motley Crue vocalist John Karabi, he expressed some serious skepticism about that decision, and he said he'll only believe this if he hears it directly from Mick Mars, which was interesting. And now a friend of Mick Mars is also opening up, expressing his point of view, saying he believes there was actually some tension going on about the way the live shows were produced that also caused some friction with the band. Before we continue, YouTube tells us we have a lot of returning viewers to the channel who have not yet subscribed. If you could take just a quick moment to subscribe with notifications on for your latest news and updates about your favorite rock bands, we would appreciate it. A statement released in October provided to Variety announced Mick Mars' retirement from touring. It read, Mick Mars, co-founder and lead guitarist of the heavy metal band Motley Crue for the past 41 years, has announced today that due to his ongoing painful struggle with ankylosing spondylitis, he will no longer be able to tour with the band. Mick will continue as a member of the band, but can no longer handle the rigors of the road. AS is an extremely painful and crippling degenerative disease, which affects the spine. A short time later, former Motley Crue vocalist John Karabi appeared on the Life in the Stocks podcast and spoke about that announcement. He said at the time, I don't know, I could be totally wrong about this, so don't run around and fucking whatever, put it in print yet, but I'm just saying I'm waiting for Mick's response. The one that we've all heard came from Motley and their management. He added, because since that announcement came out, I've reached out to Mick and his wife a few times, and Mick hasn't responded at all. And I sent his wife, she's from Switzerland, so when I was out there last week, I sent some photos of the Alps. I was in the Alps, and I wrote to her and I said, hey, I'm in your motherland, and she wrote back. Then I came back and I was like, Hey man, how's Mick? And she goes, he's fine. Hey, what's going on? Crickets. So that's kind of unusual behavior for Mick and his wife. They would normally just be like, yeah, dude, everything's cool, whatever. He said, I don't know if he's embarrassed or maybe, who knows? Maybe he's angry. Maybe he's being told not to say anything to anybody. Maybe there's going to be a lawsuit. I don't know, but I just know how those guys operate. And I would not be surprised if they didn't say, Mick, look, you're in pain. We've got John 5. We're going to bring him in. Maybe throw him a bone. Like every time they tour, throw him some money but we're gonna move forward with this guy. It wouldn't surprise me. Now, this is all a theory. I know about as much as you guys do, but personally, I don't believe a word of that statement at all. And now in a new Ultimate Guitar interview with legendary drummer Carmine Apice, a friend of Mick Mars, he said that Mars took issue with the fact that Motley Crue came out of retirement after their final tour in 2015. He said, well, I tell you what, I've been talking to Mick and he told me, when I was on the stadium tour, I was not happy. Basically, everything was on tape. It was all planned out and ultimately a lot of crap. And Mick is a pretty good player, and so to not let him loose and play the way he wants, that was never going to work for him. The truth is that everything has been weird for a while with Motley Crue, and Mick didn't like that everything was on tape. Mick told me that people that came to see it could tell that it was all pre-recorded and that everything was on tape. When you play a stadium like that, you can hear a lot of things come to the monitors or what doesn't. And with Vince's vocals, bass, drums, guitars, and all the other stuff, it was obvious that it was all on tape. And Mick was pissed off and said, I can play these things. I want to play them. I don't want to make believe I'm playing them. So I think that's one of the reasons he said, I'm done. Sure, the disease that he has doesn't help, and it doesn't make life easy on tour. But Mick can play all the licks, and he was allowed to. So over the last couple of years, obviously, there's been a lot of conversation about the use of backing tracks and laptops. And it doesn't sound like from this interview that those were backing tracks, or at least Mick Mars felt as though his guitars were simply entirely pre-recorded and being played through the sound system, and there was some sort of attention there. So let me know what you think in the comments about all of this. It is interesting that since his retirement, Mick Mars hasn't said anything. We do know he's working on his debut solo album and he's not retired from music. He's just retired from touring. We wish him all the best. Obviously, he's a legend and look forward to hearing that new solo music as well. That's your latest update from Rockfeed. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet and check out the recommended video up on your screen.